When shooting underwater video, the most important thing to get right is the quality, strength and positioning of your video lamps. The camera is actually not as important. Getting your light correct will greatly enhance the quality of your video. In this little clip we'll explore a few techniques to create more professional video. Here is an example of the video lamps being simply too close to the lens. The effect is a very small cone of darkness between the lens and the light. In front you'll have a very bright area and because not all water is crystal clear you will have suspended particles floating everywhere. These particles will now be brightly illuminated and they will become very distracting on your footage. This is my system. It is a GoPro kit made by a company called light for me and I have two 3600 lumen video lamps which gives me a combined strength of 7.2 thousand and it has a very nice Goodman grip so that I can hold it steady in the water. This is an example of the video light being too close to the lens. The color accuracy is quite nice but as you can see I have these white specks everywhere and it kind of makes you feel like you're flying through hyperspace. This can only be eliminated by widening the cone of darkness and creating more space in front of the lens. This diagram illustrates very nicely how this can be achieved by simply extending the arms. I achieved this by adding these ultralight buoyancy arms. As you can see from this footage, with a wider camera system, we now have significantly less of these white specks in the water. Another challenge, however, is that all objects very close to the lens will be brightly illuminated and overexposed. In the distance, however, we will have a lot of darkness. This diagram here illustrates how because the video lamp have a very wide dispersion, the distance to the walls are close and will be very bright, but when we aim forward, things will get darker and darker into the distance. This can be solved by simply distributing your video lamps amongst your team. The resulting footage will look more like this. You can see the diver in front, myself. I'm carrying a large video lamp and the film behind me is also carrying large video lamps. We can now see into the distance, yet it's not overexposed close to the lens. I've also added a little macro kit to my GoPro. This kit is made by Backscatter and it allows me to do very tight macro shots. I hope these few tips will aid you guys in creating better quality video. Alright, bye.